All right, so let's just go over the last few steps. We're almost done, guys. We just have to save this, export it, and upload it to Canvas. But before you go, let's just make sure we do a few things. Number one, let's make sure that we um, are looking at uh, uh, the names that we have. All of your all of your sheets should be properly named, right? And they should be flushed to the right as you went along. The second thing is that your dashboards should they don't have a specific name that you have to follow, but they should be flushed to the left with the exception in order with the exception with your storyboard, which should be all the way to the left. So I should see first the storyboard, right? Then the dash, 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 however many dashes, and then the rest of your sheets. I really don't want to see um, everything across. I don't want to be faced. If I need to face and if I need to look for this, then it, it is not proper. And you would never want your client or your boss or anybody else to look to be looking to find this. Um, so finally, how do we save this? All right, let me get rid of myself for a minute. And let's go in here and go to File. And let's make sure that we're going back to the Save. Um, notice that I had already saved this as a package workbook from the beginning, but I'm going to do it again just to make sure. So this is a Tableau package workbook. Before I do that, I'm going to go to my data source. Um, just one second, please. So let, let it connect to my data source. Let's make sure that this is refreshed. The last extract was done at 11.01. Let's refresh it um, and make sure that it's extracted, right? Finally, let me just save save create extract and then i'm going to go to the story and then from the story i can say um from my story it's still downloading the data notice that it went to get the latest data that's what happens when you do a new extract and refresh it uh, and then now you can export that as a package workbook. And that's it. I save it. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. And that's the one file I am going to export to my uh, canvas. And you're done, guys. This is your project. It is simple but effective. I wanted to make sure that you were able to look at different ways to download data from the SEC website. It's important that you're acquainted with um, the SEC system as you work with different financials in the future, if you're going to be working for a public, uh, comp uh, a bigger uh, accounting firm in the future, you would want to make sure that you are able to look at this, the, the, the financial statements, the disclosures, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But more importantly, uh, we went through the XBRL to understand why is it critical for us to be able to understand the tagging system, uh, this new XML uh, defined language by that it took a cpa to to put together and that's where the value is right now every single company in the world that has to um, um, solicit funds or equity from different markets is obligated to use this xbrl and we are able to do a bunch of financial analysis on a very quick basis and there's several machines out there including yahoo finance Google Finance, and a bunch of other uh, data warehouses that um, import this data every day. And it's ready for us to be able to use. And now we can make determinations on where your investment, uh, where you should be investing, or any other type of information, uh, whether you're a government agency looking at this or a financial institution looking at financial statements, uh, you are able to make these uh, very quickly uh, with XBRL. Finally, we use Tableau to be able to analyze this. So in doing this, now we've been introduced and we are solidifying our skills and being able to visualize data from different sources from the cloud. You looked at Google Sheets. We are importing data from the cloud that is connected that could change without us having to replicate that change everywhere we go. Uh, we're able to package this visualization very easily by using the power of pivot tables on Tableau or in Tableau. And we are able to share this information with package workbooks or by using our, uh, our Tableau online services that 
cost a little bit to subscribe to um, and that's how they get your money <laughs> but we're not going to use that for now we're just going to upload that repository um, or I'm sorry that package workbook and submit it online so thank you guys I hope that was helpful I am open for questions so please join me in my happy hour tomorrow at five o'clock to make sure that you have all of this done correctly and one last thing is um, let's take a look at the Intercontinental Hotel um, Financial Analysis, right? And that's how I'm going to bold this, save it, and put it in the center. And from now on, this is the way I'm going to do it. One more time. Let's save it and close it, and we're all set. Thank you for joining us again. Have a good night.